Hi, this is Craig from S5 Solutions and welcome to LabVIEW Tips. Today we're going to look at how to create a background for your LabVIEW app. If you start with a default LabVIEW VI, when you open it up it's got a nice plain gray background which is fine but a little bit boring. So today we're going to look at how to dress that up. We can insert a background image by right clicking on the vertical scroll bar and hitting properties. From there, we're able to select from a number of backgrounds that are shipped with LabVIEW. We can also hit the Browse button, and from there we can go to our own, where I've got a folder on my desktop here where I've put a few images, and we can load one of those. Then that becomes the background image. You can see that LabVIEW tiles the image, so as it comes to the edge of the image, it repeats it over both vertically and horizontally. So you'll always have some sort of image complete in your window. But as you see in this case, it doesn't work that great because there's a great deal of contrast. It's not meant to be a tileable image in this case. But we can go select one that is. I've got another example here in the same directory on my desktop. And here, if we look at this metal, it's a smaller image, but it's made in such a way that it tiles well. So it's got a gradient that gets brighter and then dimmer and brighter and dimmer, and it connects uh, in both horizontally and vertically. So it goes on forever. That allows you to have a completely resizable background image. There are a lot of those kinds of images that you can find out on the web to use as backgrounds. They also have the advantage of being a little smaller. If you use a full-size image, be a little careful because the all the actual image is inserted into the VI and it becomes part of the VI, so it carries around the weight of the, of the size of that image. Your VI can get quite big just because it will contain all of the pixels of the image that's there. The advantage of that is since the image is stored right in the VI, then you don't have to have that image file on disk, you're not loading it, you don't have to worry about shipping it when you distribute your application. That's how you create a background image in LabVIEW, so I hope you enjoyed that. Look for more of our other videos, search for LabVIEW tips and S5 solutions. We'll teach you as much as we can and give you all kinds of tips on how to make LabVIEW a great development environment. Thanks!